everyone. Lady Rose here. Um, and I wanted to do a flip through of a journal, uh, one of my junk journals uh, that I've been commissioned to do for a young lady. So her birthday's coming up in March and her mother ordered this and uh, she likes fairies and unicorns and all those great things. So this is the cover of her journal and I'm just gonna flip through here. We'll open the first page. This is the first time I'm using this particular camera, so I'm just, bear with me while I'm checking <laughs> to make sure everything's in the shot. So we've got Fairyland Magic here. I've got a couple of jewels and some stars. I've got a little opening poem about where the fairies are and made with love and magic. And then we've got a beautiful border here. So I think she's in grade one or maybe kindergarten. Um, so there's lots of fun things in here. We've got an envelope here with, there's a coloring page and a couple of tags hidden away in there. I have a little secret door here that I created for her so she can open that up. Oh, it's a little stuck here, but it's supposed to open up. There we go. Got a little stuck, but there it is. There's a little flower hiding in there. And then there's a little tag hidden under here. And we've got some ladybugs there. And then we flip this over and we've got a beautiful bejeweled tag that's clipped there for her. Let's make sure it's on there. And then a fairy thing underneath. Here we've got the unicorn page or one of the unicorn pages. I've jeweled it up a little bit for her. There's a little blurb here about fairy kitchens and she's got a little tag here that I've closed pinned on a unicorn tag. This is, I love this page. This is about fairy fashions. And so I incorporated some fabric swatches and of course the fairies need scissors and they need a sewing machine and there's a little lace butterfly, some purple lace underneath, a little sparkly button and then some pearls. And of course I included a flower too um, because the fairies do draw from nature for a lot of their fashions as well. Then just a little unicorn uh, picture here and some blank pages for her to write or color on. Secret message. So there's a little secret message in there for her. It's a message from the fairies here. And then there's a couple little tags as well. So she can use the tags to write her secret messages back if she wants. And then we've got a couple of more tags on the back tagged here. So there's a little fairy and crystal one. And then there's um, another little tag here, some blank pages for her to write on or color on. And then I've stuck in this upper tuck here, uh, some a sheet of fairy stickers so she can put them wherever she wants in her journal. And then I've got a unicorn tag as well as a butterfly tag for her to use and write on or whatever she might want to do. So we flip to this page and there's this little sort of almost uh, an envelope that unfolds and in here are tucked all kinds of tags. Some of them I've homemade, some of them came with a little fairy kit that I had so I put that in there and there's fairies all over this page and then over here there's a little special secret door and inside there's a unicorn and she can write whatever she wants there's a little special message and I you know I put a little few little words fairy magic and believe and then over here we have another little folding thing so it unclips and I've got a mermaid tail clip here for this so again like I said I'm hoping that this all stays in the shot so this is um, a mermaid kind of mini journal within her journal so it opens up like this and then there's a little fold and I've got all kinds of little tags in there there's a note uh, sheet there that she can use to write on if she wants this is also an envelope there's a nice thick big card in here and then there's some extra pages that she can write on if she likes. And then, you know, maybe one of her fairy pictures can go there or on here or whatever. And she can add her own little stickers as she, you know, collects the stickers throughout her, her grades in school and life and whatnot. So on the back of this clip that we've got here, we've got some a little 
unicorn tag, unicorn with some balloons there, which I thought was really sweet. And then some note paper. So if she wants to take some notes or write a letter to the fairies or write a letter to a friend that's there. And then underneath, we've got a beautiful little page, unicorns and candies and sparkly butterflies, which I thought was a lot of fun. And then on this page, we have a little mini uh, pocket, a reminder to smile. And then there's some tags tucked in there. Some more blank pages for her to write on. And then we flip over and we've got a big tuck here. So here we've got um, this I thought was kind of neat. So I decorated this up a little bit. So it's a puzzle piece and she can use it to write on or whatever she wants to do. There's a big giant tag here. And then there's another coloring page in here for her. And then I've got clipped here a little bunny peeking out. I added a flower to the actual tag. Got this out of a beautiful fairy book. But I, there, this is actually a little tag of its own, right? But I thought it was kind of cute to have the little bunny sticking out. And then it's just clipped there and she can take it out whenever she wants to use it. Over here, I love this paper. <clears throat> I just thought it was wonderful. And it opens up. And there's a little you know, some knowledge about the fairies themselves. Um, maybe stuff people don't always know. And also here is a little tuck spot. So she's got all kinds of little tags and whatnot that are here for her to use. And also tucked in here, I have a little envelope that's been sealed. It's from the fairies. And it's some locks of fairy hair that she gets. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then here we've got Sparkle, little picture. And this actually, you know, uh, has bells that ring. And so I love this little rainbow uh, trim here. And then on the other side, I've got, this is kind of a neat one because it opens up. So she can write here as paper. And there, there's the unicorn with the balloons again. She's got some... Um, cards tucked in here because this is also a holder for cards. So there's Butterflies, Toronto Public Library card, and then a nice thick card back here. And here she has a little mini envelope and it unfolds so she can use it to write a little story to the fairies or write her own fairy tale or she can record a special day, maybe her birthday party or Christmas or something special that happened. And this is all, again, folded back up on this beautiful sort of pastel -y kind of paper. And then we've got some purple sheets for her here to write on if she wants to. And this is another page she could write on. And then there's a little poem about magic um, and some butterflies decorating it. And so I put that in. And this, I think, will, will be such a great gift because she'll be able to write in it as she grows up. And obviously you change as you grow up. So it'll be kind of fun to look back and see what she wrote as like her six-year-old self, her seven-year-old self, that sort of thing. And there is lots of room to write. Um, I probably overstuffed it because she is a, um, a cousin of mine. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll need to give her this. I need to give her that. <laughs> So this here, there's a little bit of uh, knowledge, fairy knowledge here, but this is a pad. So there's lots of paper here and it's homemade paper. So lots of great um, paper there for her to write on. And then we've got the frog prince here. So I put him in as a belly band. So she's got a blank card here. She can write on either side. And then there's a coloring picture here. So this is a the idea of a coloring picture that I popped in there for her and there's a little message on the back about mermaids so there's some reading that she could do this is just this is some uh, an art piece that I did so I thought I'd pop it in there it's a combination of obviously the sparkles and these look like little seashells so I thought those were kind of cool and paint and and decoupage that I put on there and then I have this in my collection of um, unicorn things so I thought I'd incorporate that in because there's a pretty little heart lollipop and then for all the flowers that are decorating the unicorn I put little 
um, beads to be the center of the flower. And then we've got more blank paper. I've clipped on here a couple of different cards that she can write on if she wants. She can send these as little notes to her friends, whatever she might want to do. And then I've got another fold card here. So it says fairy wings and a little bit about the fairies here, which is kind of neat. So inside, let me pull this over and make sure you get this in the shot. Inside, I've actually incorporated some fairy wings. So she's got some wings there. And, you know, people have asked me about these, like, oh, isn't that mean? And I'm like, no, no. See, the fairies shed their wings like about every year. So what they've done is they've, They've let me take them and then I can use them in my junk journals. <laughs> um, so I put them on there for her to have and it's quite pretty. And then there's a little knowledge here about fairy wings. And then I have a tuck spot here. So I have another one of those little secret envelopes here. So this one's a butterfly one. See, like I said, I've overstuffed it. So now it's starting to fight me to stay open. Um, so yeah, this is a nice long one. <laughs> so there's a nice long story she can write there if she wants. And tuck that back in. And then I've got some tags and some cards that I've tucked in there for her just for some fun. Another, you know, paper that she can write on, keeping her notes here. Again, she can put all kinds of stickers there if she wants. And then I've got a little fairy knowledge here, the dream fairies. And there's nighttime fairies. And then I just loved this trim that I had. And I'm like, well, I have to throw that into her book. So this is just a card so she could write on this. It's attached in. And on the back of it is another little fairy envelope. And inside are all kinds of cute little tags and cards. And this one's kind of neat. She's got a circular tag there, which is cool. I like that. And then, of course, we've got the bejeweled butterfly and I've done some nice trim with some tassels on this page. And then that's the end of the book. And I've used some unicorn tape to kind of hold the cover in place and whatnot. And it starts out with these ladybugs. So I will be tying this up and getting it to her hopefully this week at some point. Um, so I just wanted to do a little flip through before I sent it off to the birthday girl. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you think um, or if you have any questions. And thank you for being here. Please subscribe and ring the bell. And that way you'll know whenever new um, uh, videos go up. And please like and comment on this video. Thank you so much. Bye.